Welcome to the showroom here again at Keyboard Exchange International in sunny Sanford, Florida. I'm here with Mr. Grant and Rodney, my son Rodney Huss, and today we'd like to talk once again about some of the clearance sale items in the clearance sale we're going to be promoting soon, including two or three B3s that don't look perfect but by the time Grant and you and Bill go through and change a hundred electronic parts and, and go through this Leslie and make it sound as good as uh, something that looked pretty, uh, then you're going to have a great sounding organ. And you know, Rod, these might be organs people want to refinish them themselves someday. Possibly. Uh, uh, yeah, this one here doesn't look really that bad. Either does this one here. But we're... Um, we're basically just overstocked and we're trying to place these in some homes, so what price did you want to put this at? A clearance price with all possible discounts included at $9,950, but that includes the internal restoration work, which by itself is quite expensive, more than half that amount, and in this case, this matching Leslie, you know, this Leslie didn't even come with this organ. It's just rather coincidental that the same ugly finish is on both. <laughs> yeah, again, not that ugly, but this one, <laughs> this one here will be a little bit more. I don't think we have the exact matching bench, but we'll get a Leslie that looks pretty similar. So if you're looking to save quite a bit of money from the pristine organs and don't mind some uh, imperfections in the furniture, these are a couple of great options for you. Yeah, you know, I, I'll say once again, uh, Grant, you traveled around with your band in your youth. Mm -hmm. For me, I didn't care what my Hammond looked like. Oh, I, no. I just wanted it to sound great. Of course. It, it, it didn't matter because I was going to get it scratched up anyway. Back those days, you know, we I don't even think we used blankets on the equipment. It's just like, get it in the van, yeah. get it out, put it on stage, leave the dollies on the organ. Not, you know, because we couldn't be bothered to take the dollies off. You know, so that was the old days. But and you know, if you want to take a one of the one an organ like these around, you know, you've got an enhanced patina on these finishes. That's one way to look at it. You know, you could put it in positively, like Rodney likes to do. He likes to say, "Oh, they don't look that bad." But when you compare them to our premium instruments that came out of someone's living room. Mm, you know, they don't look quite as nice. Uh, but we want to give a wide spectrum of price options. And if, if those of you out there might be just like I was when I was a young fella playing, I didn't care about the finish. I just wanted it to sound great. And Grant, you and Bill are going to guarantee that these organs sound great. Am Absolutely. I, am I right about that? Absolutely. And how are you going to make that happen? Well, I'm going to roll this back into the back and ask Bill to rebuild it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we both do these. But uh, we're going to do the exact same treatment on these that we do with even the premium ones that, uh, that Jim is mentioning here. Um, we do a complete internal restoration. We remove everything we can um, other than perhaps the actual key contacts because they're quite internal and they don't really ever need any kind of maintenance. But uh, we take everything out, we replace felts, we oil everything, uh, we replace some wiring. There's always, uh, Jim has mentioned in several videos, there's power wiring that goes to the organ that has to be replaced on every organ. Uh, and we do that, of course, as well as uh, sometimes we, we upgrade things a little bit using a, a few techniques that we have to keep, uh, to, to make sure the organ is more reliable than even when it came out of the factory. Oh, better than new. Yeah, these yeah. things were designed in the, in the 30s originally, and so there were certain materials and things that weren't available to them back then. And now we have certain types of plastic and rubber and, and things like that that can help insulate or reinforce things that weren't available to the original manufacturers. Uh, so oh, we do also about the stuff. OBL. We're going to add yeah. the OBL to these too. Yeah, so you'll have a, a direct out. You'll have an output on each organ um, that comes right from the preamp, and it's pristine and clean. You don't have any wind noise. You don't have any mechanical noise from your your spinning Leslie, and you can run that to your PA. You can run that into a recording desk if you want to be recording and not have to worry about 
squeaking pedals or anything that might be making any kind of noise. It's, it's actually quite nice. And it's a little bit of a backup if, if ever you were to have trouble with the Leslie or you, you needed a lot more oomph in the PA or something like that. Your uh, Leslie wasn't cutting it for your arena show. Uh, this output can be used for that. Oh yeah, these organs would look great in an arena because the people are so far away they can't even see the <laughs> football players. Yeah. yeah, and these front rails, when they redo the up felts, we'll send this back and have it uh, repainted. that will look brand new. So this hasn't been detailed yet. He'll be able to hide some of these imperfections. But that's probably one of the best deals we've had on the B3 in, in a little while. So if you're looking to stay at a you know, pretty reasonable price with the uh, kind of work we do internally this is I don't think this one's gonna last very long yeah keep in mind that the prices we just mentioned for this one uh, particular in particular include the restoration work like if you brought us this instrument we did the restoration work that that's like 60% of what we're charging for this equipment so anyway folks I we bid you adieu from keyboard exchange international and where are we today fellas Sunny, Sunny Sanford, Sanford, Florida. That's right. Take care. Thanks for watching our video, and thank you also for uh, helping keep the ham and tone wheel B3 organ alive. We couldn't do all this work that we do here without you. And it would also help greatly if you could subscribe, like, uh, ask for notifications for when we have new videos. That would be a big help for us. So we thank you once again. I'm signing off for now, but we will be back.